Hello friends, welcome to Golden Career. Today we will see how to solve inequality problems and we will also see shortcut to solve correct inequality within few seconds. This is video especially for India Post Payment Bank uh, India Post Payment Bank batch and if you wish to join the batch then uh, mail me at info at the rate golden career.co.in info at the rate g o l d e n c a r w -E r dot co dot in so if you want to join the batch then uh, mail me and i will get back to you within couple of hours so let's proceed there are mainly three signs in the inequality that is greater than less than and equals to and uh, remaining three signs are derived from these three signs greater than equals to less than equals to and not equals to i hope you, uh, all of you know the meaning of these signs so i will not waste the time here and we'll move to the questions here is the question now what you need to do is if the statement is given in single line okay then you don't need to write anything what you need to do is you know you need to uh, compare the symbols here is x here is y okay so we have to go from x to y x to y so now write all symbols between x and y less than is equals to less than equals to okay now find the common sign what is common sign uh, remember one thing we don't compare is equal to we have to ignore this sign okay whenever you get is equal to just ignore it okay so now less than and less than equals to what is the common common is less than so x is less than y and what is given x is greater than equals to y it means this is wrong move to the next conclusion l is greater than n we have to go from l to n again l to n write all symbols between l and n greater than greater than equals to less than equals to again you have to ignore equals to what is the common sign no sign is common so again no sign is common it means conclusion uh, is wrong and one more thing if you find opposite sign see this is greater than equals to this is less than this is greater than less than uh, opposite greater than less than greater than equals to less than so if you find opposite sign then you don't need to compare anything you don't need to find common sign this conclusion will be 100% wrong so you need to remember uh, you need to find the common sign and that common sign will be the answer k and j k and j greater than equals to less than what is common sign nothing is common as usual here is opposite sign so this will not follow now d and x we have to go from d to x okay uh, write it like this x and d less than now equals to and then less than equals to and then less than so what is common between x and d is x what is the common sign we have to ignore this here is less than here is less than equals to here is less than less than less than less than so x is less than d reverse it it means d is greater than x so this is only this follows so the answer will be uh, only conclusion 4 is true move to the next question this one we have to, p is greater than c we have to go from p to c here is p here is c p c write all sign between p and c less than sorry greater than greater than equals to equals to greater than less than equals to again opposite sign it means conclusion will not follow d to c here is d here is c d to c greater than and less than equals to again opposite sign conclusion will not follow 
very easy what you need to find is only common symbol and if there is opposite sign conclusion will not follow l to p l and p here is l here is p again write it as p and l okay so it will be easy p to l p to l write all sign between p and l greater than greater than equals to equals to greater than what is common sign greater than greater than greater than we have to ignore equals to so p is greater than l it means l is less than p this is follows now j is less than, j is greater than l we have to go from j to l here is j and this is l write all signs between j and l greater than equals to equals to and greater than what is common we have to ignore is equal to greater than greater than is common j is greater than l so j is greater than l this follows so the answer will be only conclusion 3 and 4 follows d will be the answer move to the next question again here is state here statement is given into two part so what you need to do is you need to join all uh, the uh, two parts if there are three parts then you uh, have to join according to conclusion uh, okay so uh, let's join it b is greater than equals to a is less than k is less than f now this part f is less than b and b is equals to d b is less than k we have to go from b to k okay so uh, k and b write all the symbols less than less than k is less than b reverse it b is greater than k what is given b is less than k it means it not follows next a is greater than d we to go a to d write a here d here write all sign between a and d less than less than less than equals to what is common less than a is less than d so what is what it is what is given here a is greater than d it does not follows move to the next question uh, next conclusion d is less than f d is less than f we have to go uh, from d to f f and d less than and equals to so conclusion will be f is less than d we have to ignore is equal to uh, so reverse it d is greater than sorry d is greater than f what is given d is less than f it is also wrong Now conclusion, uh, last conclusion is f is less than equals to, uh, just a minute, f is less than equals to b, so we have to go f to b, there is one symbol between f and b that is less than, so f is less than b will be true, what it is given, what is given here is f is less than equals to b, so it is also wrong, so uh, the answer will be none is true. Before proceeding uh, to uh, coded inequality, uh, I would like to tell you one more thing uh, about either and or case. So suppose there is a conclusion. Uh, there is a conclusion number one is t is less than is equals to f, and second is k is greater than is equal to f. Okay. Now. Uh, if you are making notes then write these conditions in your copy condition number one is for either and or both conclusion should be wrong both conclusion should be wrong number two is subject and predicate should be same should be same and predicate should be same and third condition is all three signs 
greater than less than and equals to should be there should be there okay both conclusions should be wrong check here k to f k is less than f here is given k is uh, less than equals to f so this conclusion is wrong uh, again conclusion number two is k is greater than equals to f k is less than f. this conclusion is wrong so both conclusions should be wrong okay condition number one is correct now condition number two is subject and predicate should be same subject is k in conclusion number two subject is k conclusion number one predicate is f conclusion number two predicate is f so this is also correct subject and predicate is same number three all three signs greater than less than equals to should be there here is greater than less than sorry less than greater than and equals to so less than greater than equals to all three signs are present here so for this the answer will be either one or two follows for this so you have to check these three conditions uh, for either and or case now coded inequality this is very important in mains exam usually you will uh, find only coded inequality and you can solve coded inequality within few seconds it will take hardly 35 to 40 seconds to solve one question you need to remember these codes okay for greater than you have to write one for greater than equals to you have to write two for less than you have to write one asterisk this sign is known as asterisk and for two you have uh, for less than equals to you have to write two asterisk and for equals to you have to write zero so suppose uh, when we are comparing there is symbol one there is a number one and two so priority of one will be always high and suppose there are one asterisk and two asterisk the so priority of one asterisk will be always high will always be high and if there is one and one asterisk so this uh, this uh, conclusion will not follow because uh, it is opposite sign okay so what you have to learn is only this and you will able to solve current inequality within few seconds let's see the question again see here a delta b means a is greater than b so for greater than we use one a at the rate b means a is smaller than b smaller than means one asterisk okay a percent b means a is greater than equals to it means two a asterisk b means a is less than equals to b it means two asterisk a copyright b means a is equals to b it means zero okay now conclusion r at the rate p we have to go from r to p so uh, we are going in reverse direction okay so r to t what is the uh, r to t the symbol is at the rate at the rate means one asterisk but we are going in reverse direction so we have to change the symbol uh, reverse of one asterisk is one right one here okay now t to p uh, t to p the symbol is delta delta is one delta is one and as we are going in reverse direction so we will change uh, we will reverse it to uh, opposite it uh, opposite of one is one asterisk so this is our conclusion one and one asterisk so these are opposite signs it means this will not follow let's check next r percent p we have to go r to p r to p again we have already checked it uh, it will uh, in pre, uh, same r to p so it will be one and one asterisk okay uh, r at the rate p r p so both conclusion is uh, are wrong okay both conclusion are wrong 
so let's check for the either and or condition the second is subject and predicate should be same subject and predicates are same rp rp and all three symbols should be present now check here at the rate at the rate means smaller than or and percent means greater than equals to so here all three symbols are present so for these two conclusion the answer will be either one or two okay sorry mm, it's one asterisk okay now k asterisk t we have to go from k to t k to t this one now again we are going in reverse direction k to t k percent o percent where is percent percent means two opposite of two is two asterisk o to r copyright copyright means equal to we will write equal to as equals to so zero because we have to ignore it and r to t at the rate at the rate means one asterisk and reverse of one asterisk is one again two asterisk and one here is asterisk and here is uh, there is no asterisk on one it means they are opposite symbol so it will not follow now o delta t we have to go from o to t o to t this one o to t o copyright r so copyright means is equal to we will write it at zero and r to t at the rate at the rate means smaller than one asterisk reverse of one is one because we are going in opposite direction okay so zero and one so we have to ignore zero and priority uh, so we have to ignore zero the symbol remaining is one one means delta it means o delta t is correct it will follow i hope you understand it and if there is any problem then comment below i will try to explain it further let's see one more question to make it more clear p percent q means p is neither smaller than nor equal to q yani percent means one it is really neither is smaller nor equal it means it will be greater than p is greater than q second is p at uh, p at the rate q means p is not greater than q it means uh, uh, p is less than equals to q so at the rate means two asterisk p delta q means p is neither greater nor smaller it means equals to delta means zero has means p is not smaller than q means greater than equals to has means two p and q means p is neither greater nor equal it means smaller than so and to one asterisk let's check the conclusion g and n okay we have to go from g to n g to n again we are going in reverse direction so we have to reverse the number g has h what is has has is 2 so reverse of 2 is 2 asterisk right 2 asterisk here h to n is percentage percentage is 1 and reverse of 1 is 1 asterisk 1 asterisk so here is 2 asterisk and 1 asterisk so priority of 1 asterisk is high so one asterisk means and it means g and n will be the conclusion and g and n is given so conclusion one is right next is n has j we have to go from n to j n to j again we are going in reverse direction uh, n to j here n to j so n at the rate f at the rate means two asterisk and opposite of two asterisk is two two and f delta z 
delta j uh, delta is one asterisk and up uh, sorry delta is zero and we will write zero as zero so in zero and two the priority of two will be always high because we have to ignore zero we have to ignore this so two means has so n has z this is conclusion and what is given n has z so this is also true next is f and j f and j we have to go from f to j f to j is already given uh, f delta j uh, and delta is zero so zero opposite of zero is zero and uh, what is given in conclusion is f and j means uh, uh, f is uh, one asterisk j so we are getting zero is right f is zero j and zero means delta f delta j will be the right conclusion what is given is f and j so it will not follow next is g at the uh, j at the rate g we have to go from j to g okay from first to last j and g now in this case we are not going in reverse direction so we don't need to change the we don't need to write the opposite of uh, numbers okay now delta delta 0 at the rate 2 asterisk percent 1 has 2 again you can see here is 1 2 but this is 2 asterisk it means the conclusion will not follow because it is opposite symbol so this is all about the correlate inequality. It is very simple to solve the correlate inequality. What you have to learn is only uh, you have to remember these quotes and you have to practice at least 50 questions. And after practicing 50 questions, definitely you will be able to solve one question in 35 to 40 seconds. So this is all about inequality. And if you have any doubt or if you want to ask anything, you may comment below and uh, for uh, and your post payment bank batch students please check your mail i have already mailed you the assignment and solve it and if you have any query then mail me thank you and please subscribe uh, channel to get further updates thank you